For BARC, there are two ways to get into BARC. One is through gate exam and one is through written test. Uh, I got in through the gate exams. And in my year, it was up to rank 320 that they gave a direct call. I don't really know about the written test because I did not give that written test. And this 320 uh, rank is without any uh, reservation. So it is up to normal 320 rank. Uh, once you get the uh, call for the BRC, they will give you a slot and you have to choose the exam and it, the, uh, if you are successful, the interview will take roughly one and a half hours. If you are not, it may get over as soon as half an hour. But if it goes on more than one hour, chances are, chances are good. Right. So the interview will begin by, uh, you will be first asked to, uh, given, you will be first given a white paper and you will be asked to write five subjects that you are most confident in. In the order in which you write the subjects are the order in which they will ask the questions. There will be around four or five people in the panel, all from different specializations, let's say. And they will ask their questions according to their own specializations. So, uh, I wrote some OS, the subjects I was confident in. What I have heard before that and what I have experienced there was that they concentrate more on uh, hardware oriented subjects, not necessarily direct computer architecture, but OS. Uh, and some uh, architecture is also important, but OS is one of the most important parts, even though that is not necessarily exactly hardware, but it is closely related to that. Those concepts of memory, uh, paging, linking, loading, these things. Uh, the questions they asked were, they gave some C questions, simple C questions, like the one question I remember was, uh, they gave an array and I had to uh, invert the array, reverse the array, simply reverse the array. So if you do it with a stack that it is good, otherwise they will help you. It is not that it is a direct one-way one, one way street. They will interact with you, they will help you actually get to the final result. They will actually help you get to the best answer. Another question I remember was, uh, at the most, bottom most layer of the network layer, what type of connection is made? Uh, maybe I am not able to express the question exactly correctly, but the answer they were looking for is actual copper wire connections. That the bottom of layer, the connections are done using copper wires. Then the linking and loading, which comes first? These are the questions that were asked in the order mentioned. Uh, less importance is placed on subjects like uh, automata and uh, DBMS. In automata, one question was. Uh, when you convert from DFA to NFA, uh, sorry, NFA to DFA, the number of states grows uh, exponentially. So what is the cause for this? That is one question that I remember. Uh, after the uh, interview is over, they may give a white slip with your name and some other information. So according to them, that slip means that there is a very high chance, like around 90% chance that you will get it. Uh, if you don't get that slip, there is still a chance, but it, it is very low. If you get the slip, there is a 90% chance that you will get it. Uh, once you uh, get the uh, BRC job, there are two possibilities. Either you can choose OCS or DGFS. OCS means you directly go to BRC, do a one-year uh, training program sort of, and then you join one of the BRC units. The other is DGFS, in which uh, once you give the interview, you Get a, you choose an IIT, you, no, you don't choose an IIT, you have to get the IIT on your own. If you get the IIT on your own through gate rank, you choose that IIT, you choose VRC and there is a scheme, they will combine the two. So you will have to go, you can go to IIT, complete your MTech and then go back to BRC after two years. After which you have to do a four month training program, similar to the one the OCS people do. And then you will continue as a normal employee at BRC. I did not choose the OCS program, so I don't know the details about it. I just know it's a one-year course with two semester normal coursework of two semesters. The first semester is a general general studies on nuclear sciences and the sort of thing that they are focused on the physics part of it. And the second semester is based on the, is on the core subject that you choose, computer science or electrical or biotech whatever. And then for DGFS, once you choose the IIT, you have to fill up a lot of, do a lot of formalities, fill up a lot of paperwork, you have to spend a lot of time running around the whole IIT campus because communication is not necessarily that well between the uh, IITs and the BARC. Uh, you will get a stipend of 20,000 rupees that you will get from BARC. And uh, you have to, uh, and after two years, you can complete your during the year, end of the first year, you have to go visit BRC once where they will uh, evaluate your progress and after two years, you will, once you complete your uh, 
uh, M Tech, you will go to BRC, complete the four month general physics semester thing that in common with the OCS people of that year. And after that, you will join uh, as a normal employee. And this uh, post where you will be joining the city will be decided at the time you give your uh, inter uh, at the time you get this DGFS offer. Around the first week of June, if you have gotten an IIT, you will have to inform them around the first week of June that yes, I have got this IIT. Then they will tell you, okay, fine, you have got this IIT, go to this, go and join a normal procedure. Then they will mail the IIT and then they will handle the rest. You have to give a medical exam also in both cases. In, if you get, choose OCS, you have to give the medical exam at your unit. If you choose DGFS, you have to give the medical exam at your IIT hospital. As suggestions, I would like to say that you should prepare uh, subjects, as I said, a little hardware oriented. OS, for example, is a very good subject to prepare. Network is also decently well. And computer architecture, if you can, that is also good. Secondly, uh, the projects are important. So if you are a fresher, they will ask you about your projects. If you have job experience, they will ask you about your role in the job that you have done. So those two things are important uh, when you go there. Secondly, if you don't know answer, just simply tell them that you don't know. That it is not a problem. They ask what is the waveform of the electricity that comes into your house. Me being computer science, I, I did not know. I just told them directly that I do not know. And it is not that they want a direct uh, definition, exact technical definition. It's more interactive. They will actually help you, as I said, they will help you get to the correct answer. It is not very rigid. They are, they are friendly people over there, all four of, of them, they will be friendly enough. Uh, other than this, uh, another uh, other suggestions are, if there is some problem for you to attend, if the slots are filled up, the slots of taking the interview are filled up for your convenient dates, then you can mail them and actually change the dates if you have to. But you have to give some solid justification that, yes, I am not able to do this because of this purpose. I, for example, if you have some exams, then if you mail them, they will change the dates for your uh, interviews. But send all documentary evidences. Don't just simply write the mail that I have this, I cannot attend. Actually send documentary evidence and send, link, send links to the schedule of your exams if possible. Another thing is, uh, on the day of the interview, try to go early in the morning, you have to fill up some forms. Whenever your interview slot is, try to reach the that's venue of filling the forms as early as possible because if you if you are second or third in line, each of the interviews can take one to one and a half hours and you just have to sit there. So try to give the uh, interview the first slot. Otherwise, it can get very frustrating sitting there for two or three hours doing nothing. Try to give the exam, uh, give the interview in the first slot. 